Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and I'll be taking a look at this MSI R9 390 Gaming 8 Gig Graphics Card. This is the Lite Edition. Here's a look at some of the features that come with this card. First up is the MSI Gaming app, where you will be able to overclock this card via the OC mode in addition to two other modes, Gaming and Silent. It houses military class 4 components such as high C caps, super ferrite chokes, and solid caps. This R9390 utilizes the Twin Frozer 5 thermal design for effective cooling. Zero Frozer mode will kick in under idle load, below 60 degrees C. The fans will stop spinning for low noise operation. Let's peruse the list of features included with this R9390. It's based on the GCN 28 nanometer architecture with 2560 stream processors. You get DirectX 12 support and support for AMD Liquid VR, FreeSync, and Virtual Super Resolution. With AMD Ifinity technology, this card can drive up to three displays simultaneously. You also get support for the latest AMD Crimson software package. You'll need a 750 watt or greater PSU to power this card. The specs include an AMD Radeon R9 390 GPU, 8 gigs GDDR5 video memory with 512 bit memory bus, and 6000 MHz effective memory clock. This light edition card comes with a core clock of 1010 MHz. And you get a TDP of 275 watts. Here's what you get in the box, a user guide, driver and utility CD, and 6 pin to 8 pin power cable. On the back of the card is a matte black PCB with metal backplate for rigidity and to help cool the VRM. This card measures 10.9 inches in length and weighs 2.89 pounds. It comes with a plastic open shroud design with classic MSI red and black colors. You get two 90mm Torx fans for quiet and efficient cooling. MSI uses small deflectors on the aluminum heatsink to guide more airflow onto the heat pipes. And the 8mm nickel plated copper heat pipes adopt the SU form design that comes in contact with the core and threads through the fins to further improve cooling. Here's the PCIe 3.0 X16 connector. On this edge are the 6 pin and 8 pin PCIe power ports. Next to that is a metal plate that helps cool the memory. And you'll notice that there are no crossfire connectors on this card because crossfire is accomplished through the PCIe bus due to a smarter GPU. On the rear are of course ventilation holes. And as for ports, you get a DisplayPort 1.2 port with a max res of 4096 by 2160 at 60 hertz. An HDMI 1.4a port with a max res of 4096 by 2160 at 24 hertz and two dual-link DVI-D connectors with a max res of 2560 by 1600 at 60 Hz. I've installed the MSI R9390 into my Skylake system. Here's a run-through of the MSI logo LED modes. As you can see, it breathes, flashes, and can be turned off. Let's take a look at the benchmarks. First up is Just Cause 3. At 2K Ultra, the card scored an average of 54.56 FPS. For GTA 5, also at 2K Ultra setting, the card scored 44.04 FPS. Last up is Witcher 3 on 2K Ultra, the card scored 41.4 FPS. During benchmarking, the max temp observed was 73 degrees C with an ambient room temp of 22 degrees C. That wraps it up for this look at the MSI R9 390 Gaming 8 Gig Graphics Card. I'm Joanne, and if you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media. Joanne Tech Lover Facebook, Joanne Tech Lover again on Twitter, and Joanne Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Also, be sure to check out my other YouTube channels, JTL Lifestyle and JTL Cuteness Overload. I guess all that's left to say is bye!